Welcome to Raw Radio. And we are live. Yes. Are we sure? Take it away. Take it away, Gary. <laughs> take it away. Oh, it's the, the takeaway. First of all, I'm very confused because you are very cheerful, very happy. <laughs> yes. Something is unnatural. The dynamic has been offset. Yeah, and so <laughs> prior to recording, I was, I was in a good mood and clapping my hands and smiling. And Thomas said, why are you being sarcastic? <laughs> and I think it's because he doesn't see me in a good mood. He, doesn't, he didn't think it was genuine. Um, but it, it was very genuine. And, and the reason is because I'm trying to turn I, not necessarily a negative, but things didn't go our way today. And I'm trying to turn that into a positive. And, um, you know, we could, we could title this one, you know, technical difficulties, <laughs> but actually I think I want to, I want to title it. And I don't know if this will make sense when people see it, but it will, when they listen, uh, 70, 30. And, and if, do you understand my reference? 70, 30? Yeah. 70, 30. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we talked to, uh, professor Helio Seneca and it was a rough one. Uh, there was, like I said, technical difficulties. Um, we do these over Zoom because not every jujitsu legend is hanging out in Orland Park, Illinois. And uh, we had we had a lot of technical difficulties today, but we decided, you know what, let's roll with it. Let's keep working. And um, Professor said something during the interview uh, about jujitsu and life. And you know, I think I think you might have asked, why do people quit? Or why is it so difficult? I don't remember. I'll have to listen back. But he said, jujitsu is like life. And 70% of your life, you're on bottom. And 30% of your life, you reverse the situation and you get on top. And I think that's what stuck with me today as we were trying to to decide what we were going to talk about is that 70-30, right? We could have put this one in the bag and just said, forget about it. Um, but you know what? No, let's take that. Let's reverse it and use that 30%, um, that professor was talking about. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree. It's, uh, first of all, yes, I, this was not most technologically smooth (laughs) process today. And the thing, I, I feel like anything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong, but we're not going to focus on the negative. The point is that, you know, shit happens, right? Yeah. So um, there's the title. It. It's not 70 30. It's shit happens. It's shit happens. <laughs> That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> but listen, even even if you um, uh, despite the uh, some of the moments where it's, you know, a little choppy, some of the technical difficulties. I encourage you to actually listen to 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 the episode with 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 Helio, um, simply because there are still golden nuggets in there. There are still little uh, little lessons. First of all, his story about getting spanked is classic. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was awesome too. You can find out uh, why you know um, why he got a nickname Sleepy and Seneca is not his last name. <laughs> no, good stories about that too. Good, yeah. I mean, this, this is all good stuff, right? So if you bypass the the hiccups, I think there's still a great, um, great stories and great message all behind all of this, and great wisdom from the guy who did achieve, you know, a first world championships in in Jiu Jitsu way back in the Brazil. Uh, but you're right, you most of our lives so we on the bottom. Most of um, our journey on this earth is uphill. Most of the time, we have to troubleshoot, resolve things, uh, fix things, overcome obstacles, you know, jump over things, maneuver through difficulties. I mean, welcome to earth, right? Mm -hmm. It it is the 30% of the time when we have those little victories. And I think that's why jujitsu is um, so similar to our day-to-day operations, our day-to-day life. Because I don't know about you, but every single day, I wish I had one day where everything goes smooth or it doesn't like it, it rarely happens, right? There always mm-hmm. something comes up either you know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. The point is that I personally can focus on these negative things. I can focus on what goes wrong, what doesn't work, what, what I have to troubleshoot, how I have to hustle around this, even like today, you know, or we can move forward. We can acknowledge the fact that it's life. Shit happens. Mm-hmm. 
nothing nothing always goes well and we can learn from it yeah you know so you know how do you address you know these situations in life and on the mat let's talk about these two different things or two, two different separate areas how do you address these things for yourself, Gary? <laughs> what What do you do when things don't according to plan? Like, for example, well, I'll tell you a story. Hold on. I want to know sure. how you tackled that one, okay? Your brother calls you and, and, oh, and you want to look and, and, then, and you want to look up your phone on something on your phone, but your phone is in your hand and you don't see that and and you can't find your phone. How did you tackle that? <laughs> well, once I realized I was an idiot, I just uh, opened the app that I needed the information from. <laughs> and uh, and moved forward um yeah sometimes i you know i have my moments there i am talking on my phone while looking for it it's like when your glasses are on your face and you can't find them um <clears throat> but i think you know you often talk about um obstacles and looking them at them as challenges right it's about perception same as when you're on the mat you know how what what are the challenges that i have today in this rolling with this person and a lot more times than not right 99.9% .9 of the time you know who you're going up against you know you, you they're in the gym all the time with you right so you know what challenges are going to be presented before you even slap hands and it's how do I look at it I you know sometimes you hit these plateaus or you're down on yourself or whatever and you look at it as I'm going to get smashed again. I never get anywhere with this guy. I never, you know, I can never submit this person, blah, blah, blah. Or you can look at it and say, you know, where am I going to get these small victories today? How is this going to, how am I going to learn from this? All those things where you take an obstacle and you turn it into a challenge and you learn from it uh, and you grow from it. And it's the same way in life. If you don't, you're going to get bogged down. You know, you're not going to have even that 30%. It's going to start you know, dwindling. And the next thing you know, 80% of your life is, is hardships and 20% is okay. And then 90, 10, you know, uh, and it can keep going downhill from there. Um, so just look at it with a, with a positive outlook, change your perception. Um, look at those obstacles as challenges, all those hiccups, you know, you can get through it and, uh, and learn from it. Yeah. And I'll, I think also what's important is really to identify some of these obstacles whatever they might be um i think often we might find ourselves in the in the situations when we don't look at the big picture and we just kind of go in head and first and then we get guillotined you know it's like let, let's take a look at what we are dealing with i mean just like you said i think i would even say you said 90 percent. i think it's more like 99 percent of the time we know who we dealing with when it comes on the mat you know even if if we've never met that person a quick evaluation of the situation could really do wonders you know how you know how much this person is is a male female how much do they weigh how tall they are this is what and just by simple motions and literally probably 30 60 seconds you can evaluate what their game is and what they are going to try to do and this gives you a big overview of what you might be dealing with it still doesn't give you their skill set it doesn't still give it doesn't give you the uh, you know, their system or little things that they might do, but it gives you a good perception of what you're dealing with, right? If somebody is going to be standing up, you know, they're not playing guard is one or the other, right? If they are trying to smash, they're not playing guard. If they are pulling guard, they are not trying to smash. So it's some of these, this, this is where you're entering, I think this, this game, quote unquote, you, you, you find yourself with these circumstances, um, and then you add the rules of engagement, whatever they are, whether tournament, open mat, drilling sessions, whatever it is, and then we can start training. And I think that is what makes intelligent training. You, you, we, we prepare ourselves, we evaluate who we're dealing with, and we can begin troubleshooting the situation as it unfolds, right? And I think what is really important for, for the students is particularly is the simple fact that I cannot muscle somebody who is twice of my size. I can't, that that you, you, you completely putting yourself in, in, in a failure position. Yeah. You're right? going to lose, lose that battle every time. Right. You, you it, it's uphill. It's com completely unrealistic. Right. And it's, I often talk about smart goals. If you don't know what smart goals are, look it up, look it up. You know, there's intelligence behind it. It's not saying, I often use this analogy of, you know, what, what's your goal? Oh, I want to be a good dad. What does that mean? 
good dad means nothing. But if you say, I'm going to spend half hour every single day reading a book to my son. Now that's a very different goal. That, that's a strategic it's achievable, it's smart, it's intelligent, it ha it's, it's time bound, which and we can clearly define a success and failure. Being a good dad means nothing. You know, it, it's a wish maybe, um, but it's definitely not a goal. And I think if you approach your jiu-jitsu training all life in that scenario, your success is going to be very different. And I think the, the risk versus reward is going to have a very different percentage versus if you say well i'm just going to have good training that's a good one that i hear often i'm just i'm just going to have good training today what, what does that mean cool how what, what does that mean you can have good training sitting on the side what i mean what what does that mean no i don't know no i don't know either you have to have well i was thinking while you were while you were speaking that um you have to have a path i think um and once you start on that path you know you keep adding to it you know you're building upon it um that way you can see where you're headed does that make sense you know you might not always know but at least if you're if you're going into it with a conscious decision you're gonna know where things are taking you so i think I, I i think i think i know what you're saying it i would i would rephrase that to have like a star you know, because a path can change. Sure, absolutely. Right, well, the gotta, path can change, but well, but the, but the, but the direction doesn't. Right, so we have we, sure. we have okay. the bright yeah, yeah, yeah. bright star in the sky. This is where I'm gonna go. I could make a left. I have to come back right. I have to I have to continue turning around these things mm -hmm. that I cannot overcome. But I'm still going in the general direction of where right. I want to go, and I think that's what's important. Yeah, right. Be yeah, very sure. specific on that. And then your path might change and not might, it will change. Yeah. It will yeah. change. Right. Yeah. How do you get there? Do you go around it? Do you go over it? You know, straight through, mm -hmm. you know, all those different ways. Um, yeah. And, and that I think is a, is a good way to bring that correlation of, you know, jujitsu and life together, you know, is how do I get to my end result? Mm -hmm. You know, what define it and then mm -hmm. figure out, you know, the best way to get there and then be adaptable, be able to, to move and flow with whatever your, comes your way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And often, you know, this is, this is a pretty common and I think reoccurring conversation between students and instructors around the world, you know, or life, I, life got in the way. I don't have time, blah, 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 to train anymore, you know, and it, it, this is, it's such an interesting topic. I love touching this, especially with other instructors and students, because it all really boils down to the to 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 you know how we think about these things. And there will be always a reason for us to quit, whether jujitsu, swimming, chess, painting, what whatever it is, you know, origami. I, it doesn't. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Whatever whatever activity or hobby we have, there's always a reason for us not to do it. You know, by nature, we have to be driving towards it. But it's not the fact that we don't have enough time. We all have the same amount of time. All yeah. of us. It's 24 we, hours a day. Not, not that it changes. The question is, fill that time. Right, right. Do you have, is this a priority to you? Mm -hmm. Right. And I often say, Jiu-Jitsu shouldn't be your number one not priority, right? Your family should be your other, your kids, your spouse, whatever, whatever the case is, you know, friends, you know, work, your profession, you know, if you don't do jujitsu as professional, you know, that that should be a priority. However, if you want to continue doing jujitsu, jujitsu should be somewhere up there. Well, like, it's got to be. You, you, you have to, you know, definitely should be higher than your 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 TV show. It should be higher than the, what is it? <laughs> Keep Here going we go back. again. <laughs> We're going back to this. I knew you were going to get there. I knew it. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday football beer. Or what, what was this? Thursday I keep night, butchering that. Yeah. Thursday night television or Thursday night football, the couch, and I believe beer are the three biggest um, um, obstacles in your jujitsu career, right? And that's by uh, Marcio Cruz. Um, Marcio Cruz, I love that yeah, guy. Yeah, so he knows he knows when people are getting ready to quit. He can tell, um, and he knows that their priorities aren't aren't mm -hmm. there. And mm -hmm. you know, priorities is a big part of it. Um, but 
you know, planning things out is a big part of it. Um, you know, and, and so that when that 70% is, is kicking your ass, you've got tangible things to get you to that, that other 30%, mm -hmm. of the good, the good parts of life. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. And what are they, you know, you got to figure that out, you know, and it, it can be totally unrelated to jujitsu. Um, you know, it's, it's whether, you know, you want to spend more time with your family, you want to spend more time at work. You want, you know, you're, you have goals in your career. It doesn't matter uh, what the situation is, but you just kind of have to um, realize that it takes work to reverse the situation. Just yeah. Like, and, and, and it doesn't make this clear. There's nothing wrong with all the other things having higher priority than jujitsu, but don't lie to yourself. Yeah, it's that's what the your point, is. right? Just admit the fact that jujitsu is not the highest priority. You have other pri other things that are just trumping it, and and life is good. Move on, just let it go, right? But what, what I'm, I guess, trying to what I was trying to say is, don't say that jujitsu is important to you. You just don't have time for it. That's BS, biggest BS I've ever heard. It's you know, it's like either make make it a priority and readjust things in your life and continue driving forward despite all the obstacles that you're facing right now, because end of the day, you know, it's, it's, you love it. It's good. And you're going to feel good when you're back on the mat or mm -hmm. just admit that you're done. And that's fine too. No judgment right. whatsoever, at least not from my side. Yeah. And I think also, um, you can also change your goals in jujitsu. You know, if, if time isn't on your side, well, then you go once a week, but go once a week, every week, for forever just keep going you know helios uh what did he say 30 he's coming up on his 30th anniversary of getting his black belt right and he uh, we always ask if you ever wanted to quit he said a lot of times a lot of times and then he smacks himself in the face and don't be a baby I think he's a punch to be exact yeah he did say punch <laughs> uh, and he might have said something else besides baby but i'm gonna say it was baby and um and he gets back out there right mm -hmm. and so if it's important if something's important to you adjust you know um and and keep moving forward shit happens shit happens 70 30 <laughs> <laughs> all right anyhow let's let's get this uh let, let's get this wrapped up don't forget uh to go to the website and drop your email address um uh, the geese are getting drawn we are halfway into the giveaway mm -hmm. five of them are gone six one is coming up soon um and you know i mean i don't know about you but it's it's a great opportunity to really engage in um and get some free gear free yeah, gear absolutely. and while you at it listen while you get it um you know while you're on our website leave us a review tell us what we think if we suck say tell it. us what we think no tell i'm talking to people <laughs> not to you for once i wasn't talking tell, to you. tell us what you think and what, what did i say say Tell us what we think. Oh, yeah. that's what we think. Yeah, I, is, the way this conversation's going, I know what they think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I quit. All right, then. On to the next one. <laughs> on to the next one. <laughs> Peace. Later. Thank you for listening to Raw Radio. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to leave us a review and help us make the show even more amazing. For future episodes, check out our website and follow us on all major podcast platforms. Take care.